edition of Sports Junkies here at RacineSportsZone.com. Time to talk a little Badger basketball, Final Four basketball, as they get ready to take on Kentucky. I'm Steve Sparky Pfeiffer from Sports Radio 105.7 FM, the fan in Milwaukee, host of the Wendy's Big Show weekday afternoons from 2 until 6. He is Gary Wolfel of the Racine Journal Times. Let's talk about this matchup. I, I'll be honest with you, we talked about this the other day on the Big Show. If the Badgers play Kentucky 10 times, how many times do you think the Badgers win? Zero. See, and I said three. <laughs> I said three. I wanna... You say not at all. I think they could. I think they could beat them maybe three out of ten times. So they, I think they could win. Absolutely. I'm not picking them to win, but I think they could win, Gary. Yeah, I mean, you can't dismiss anything. I mean, that's why you have upsets in, in pro sports or sure. sports in general. But um, on talent, I was looking at this the other day, and it's no secret that. Kentucky is just loaded with talent, okay? They could conceivably have the number one pick in the draft, okay? Carl Towns. Right. They could have a top five player in Cauley Stein. You think he goes that high? He could go five or six. Oh, that I high. wouldn't go he, that high. He, he, guys love him. He's okay. That okay. They could have uh, a third guy that could be a fringe lottery player. Trey Lyles. Trey Lyles. You're in the money here. Mm. They could have a fourth player that, when it all is said and done, could also sneak into the lottery. Who, Harrison? No. Who? I don't Devin know. Booker. Oh, Booker, the popular. And, and, and the crazy thing, about, he's a shooting guard. Shooting guard, yeah. The crazy thing about it is, this guy doesn't even start for him, and he's got he's going to be a mid-first-round pick. He, some people consider him the best And we think guard. he's coming out then. Yes, yes. So that's four. And then you drift down to get uh, the big guy, Johnson. Yeah. Okay, he's considered a late first-round pick, okay? And some people think one of the Harrisons... Andrew Harrison could right. slip in first. You're talking potentially six first round picks. I mean, that is how loaded. Kentucky now you look is. at the Badgers, and the Badgers, I think, have a historical first, possibly two, because they could have three first round picks. Right. Nigel A., Sam Dacker, and Frank Kaminsky, I don't believe that's ever been done in Badger basketball history. Having three probably, first round probably picks? Probably not, no. They, they've had individuals obviously go first round, right. but I don't think they've ever had a pair of first round picks. But, uh, but it, it, you know. Talent, 99% of the time, prevails. And, and Bo Ryan could outcoach John Kelly. Well, look at last year. Expect, but look know? at last year. I mean, the right. Badgers were right there with a the chance to win last year. Right. And a crazy shot gets hit, and the Badgers lose. You look at this Kentucky team this year. Is this Kentucky team this year better than last year's? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Is this Badger team this year better than last year's? Absolutely. Yeah. No, it, it should be a heck of a game. The, the thing is... The Badgers cannot get down like six to eight points early because they don't have the firepower to come back. Oh, early? Oh, they'll come back. I don't know. I, I don't worry about I, that. I, I if don't. they're down ten with like five minutes to go, then I think it's over. Oh, without a doubt. I mean, even then I think it's. I'll over. say if they're down by more than six points at halftime, it's over, because they have come back numerous times in the second half this year, but they haven't played Kentucky when they're coming back. Okay, and I'm going to tell you what I do if I was Kentucky. I've been saying it all week. Yeah. If I'm Calipari, I run a double at Decker, I play Kaminsky straight up with my bigs, mm -hmm. and dare somebody else to beat you. Well, that's it. it that's it, how I play. And, and here's the other factor, too. Kaminsky, all year, probably about 90% of the time, has gone against the center where he is clearly better, okay? Sure. Okay, right now, he's not clearly better than uh, Carl Anthony Towns, okay? It's kind of a push, okay? But the problem there is they also have... Uh, Call Stein, Stein, who can come over and, and be another center that can help him right. out if, if he needs to. So, uh, somebody like Hayes or, or Gasser or somebody's going to have to step up big. Katie and Hayes. I mean, yeah. those two guys probably are going to have to have nights. Now, maybe Calipari looks at it and says, I've got better athletes than Sam Decker. We'll play him straight up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, then Sam still has to be expected to do his job, too. I just think you need three big performances from three different Badger players. Oh, they do. they they got to play a game very comparable to what they played the other day. Right. They have to play at that level. If they don't bring their A game, it could get ugly. Yeah. I mean, as much as talented as Wisconsin is, they're not an explosive uh, scoring team. Quickly on the other side, Duke, Michigan State. I know you're taking Kentucky against Wisconsin. Yeah, yeah. Who are you taking the other one? I'm taking the hot hand, Michigan State. It's like they believe in themselves. And I've seen where Duke has been really erratic, you know, where they've been up and down. Duke obviously has superior talent. And TV but, wants uh, Duke, Kentucky. Oh, absolutely. Don't that, mess around with this a, a, Absolutely. Okafor, Carl Towns, Gooley Cauley Stein inside. That, I mean, that that's would, what they that want. That would be a dream matchup. Yeah, that's what they want. He is Gary Wolfel of the Racine Journal Times. I'm Steve Sparky, Pfeiffer. 
of Sports Radio 105.7 FM, The Fan in Milwaukee. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of Sports Junkies here at RacingSportsZone.com.